Late season Oklahoma, headed back with Blondie behind the gun. Gonna be windy and cold, but those bucks are in trouble. McWhorter Custom Rifles presents. Welcome back, folks. This week is Thanksgiving. Denise and I are headed to Dane Drake, Legends of the Cimarron Outfitters. Blondie's going to be the only shooter this time. She's going to be shooting my 7 LPRC. I think those big bucks are in trouble. Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by McWhorter Custom Rifles, Zeiss Hunting, McMillan Fiberglass Stocks, Hornady Ammunition, Great Horizon Ranch, Rack 'em Up Roasted Feeds, and Borden Accuracy. So Oklahoma's rifle season is almost always over the Thanksgiving break. Thanksgiving falls in there somewhere, so it's very, very hard to get a cameraman to go with us. So instead of both of us trying to hunt this time, I decided that I was going to film Denise uh, for this rifle hunt in Oklahoma. So we get to Oklahoma a day or two early, and we decide we're going to continue hunting the buck that I had hunted early muzzleloader season, which is a big 160 type inch eight pointer, old deer, seven, seven year old deer that never showed while I was there during muzzleloader season. So we go down, uh, I've got a, a pop up, I put it up on the, on, literally on the bank of the river on a good vantage point I can see. Up and down I got the northwest wind blowing uh, straight in our face. We got a feeder to our right at about 215 yards and we think we're in the chips. So late season rifle can be great or it can be disappointing. The, the, the bad thing about rifle season is these bucks out there, they fight so much that it sometimes you, when you finally find your target buck, he's all busted up. We've done that a number of years in the past, so we were hoping that this big eight pointer was still intact. We are back in Oklahoma for rifle season. And we've got some rain trying to come in this afternoon. As you can tell, it is very windy, but at least it's going in the right direction for where we're sitting. I killed um, a buck off of this river um, a, couple, a few years ago, and Alan sat here a good bit of muzzleloader season, um, hunted this, this spot hard. Um, we have another target buck that is in this area that Dane's been getting trail camera pictures of, so we are back down here hunting over this river. It's one of the prettiest spots on this property. Um, and I've had some luck down here, so we're hoping that uh, he shows up this evening. So Denise and I, the, the first morning, is the, the wind's wrong, it's blowing right at the feeder, so we don't go out that morning. That afternoon we get in there real early and we settle down and we just, we just don't see many deer. We just see a very few deer. Uh, it doesn't seem like they're hitting this feed spot like they were back during muzzleloader season. So we decide we're going to set it out because Dane does have pictures of this big eight pointer right there.
fast forward next several days, the weather is, is very consistently cool, uh, high winds, and, but we sit it out. We've got, we've got a northwest wind pretty much the whole time. Uh, we see young bucks, we see a couple of older culls, we see a, a good many deer, but we're just not satisfied with, with what we're seeing and we think that we need to move and we've hunted all over this place so we know it pretty good so we decided to make a change. <clears throat> My good friend and customer Lonnie Westbrook is going to come in on, on the, uh, the fifth day here and we decide we're going to put Lonnie where we've been sitting because we just don't want to forsake this spot and Denise and I move back in the hills and I put up a blind up on a sand hill where we've been successful in the past over a, another feeder and a good view of the river. Well, it's our fifth afternoon set here in Oklahoma rifle season. We, the wind is not perfect for this set, but we think it's gonna work. We sprayed down real good with the scent thief. We've got the Ozonics going. We've got some super cold weather coming in tonight, and we're hoping that this severe cold weather gets these deer up and moving even more this evening. This segment of Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Borton Accuracy, makers of the most accurate custom hunting actions on the market. Manufactured in the USA to true bench rest tolerances. Borton Accuracy equals success. It's our sixth day rifle hunting here in Oklahoma for Whitetail. I'm like a little girl because from South Georgia we don't get to see snow very often at all. And it is beautiful right now. Um, started snowing sometime during the night. We cannot see very far because of the snow that's coming down. So I'm not sure how our hunt is going to go today. Um, this may very well lock the deer down um, so that we don't have much movement at all. We certainly didn't have much movement yesterday, which I was surprised because animals seem to know when weather like this is coming in and they get up and move around, but they really didn't do that yesterday. On the sixth day, a hard snow came in. I mean, just a freezing cold snow. Accumulation was probably up four to five inches, and it was just a miserable day. We still saw a couple of deer. Uh, Lonnie had gone back to our spot and actually sat uh, in a hard blind that Dane had put up down from our, our pop-up. And uh, that morning, neither one of us saw uh, many deer. That afternoon, we went back. Denise and I crossed the river, dropped Lonnie off, went back up to our new spot and put Lonnie in this spot. And uh, we didn't see a whole lot, but right before dark, we heard a shot, and it was Lonnie. Lonnie had killed the big eight-pointer. Well, this is one of our best customers, and he, you know he's one of our best customers because he just shot the deer that Denise and I had set for 16 times. But he came in here yesterday, and we told Dane, put him in here. And one of us had killed this deer, and Lonnie killed him. Two hey, sets. We kept it the family. That's right. That's a, that's a beast right <laughs> that's there. That's a beast. And that's I'm tickled to death. big body sucker. Oh. And, I mean, a huge eight point. Look at that brow tines. I'm telling you. Look how, heavy, look how heavy the brow tines are. Man, he's got some screaming long tines and just a lot of mass. Mass. He shot him with a 6.5 Weatherby. Yep. How far was he? About a little over 300. 300. Yep. Dropped him in his track. Lonnie Dro said all he saw was white belly go down. That was it. So, Congratulations. Uh, thank you, my friend. Yep. Appreciate you and your weapons. All right, so drag him back to camp. Me and Denise are going to drive the buggy back. Sounds good. I'll see you all next week. <laughs> Congratulations to Lonnie. Lonnie's one of our oldest customers. If anybody deserved this deer, Lonnie did, but now Denise and I had to find another target buck. Dane had just picked up a, uh, another piece of property, a pretty big piece of property, about 3,000 acres that was... Uh, across the county on the other side. So we went over there, we spent the next morning scouting it. We set up a ground blind on this big point overlooking this draw and uh, we felt really good about this setup. Well, 
this Oklahoma arrival season is very shortly coming to a close for me. We've got to get to Illinois. Um, this is the eighth day of hunting here in Oklahoma. We've been hunting um, the, on the south end of this big drain area, and Alan came up and looked at the north end this morning after the hunt, and he really, really likes this spot, so we've moved over here. We don't have any intel on a big deer or anything like that, but it's a beautiful area. Deep drain, a lot of evergreens, um, great bedding area and shelter for these deer. And we've certainly got plenty to look at right here as far as ground. Um, so we're just hoping that something comes out mature and um, we're going to put him on the ground if he does. Precision Hunting TV is also brought to you by McWhorter True Precision Long Range Hunting and Shooting School, Atlas Development Group, Brooks Barrels, and Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue. This segment of Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Borton Accuracy, makers of the most accurate custom hunting actions on the market. Manufactured in the USA to true bench rest tolerances. Borden accuracy equals success. So the last day, we get in there early and we immediately start seeing deer. I mean, we can see several hundred yards in every direction. And so we see a few does here, a few little small bucks. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this good shooter walks in at the bottom at about 300 plus yards. Welcome back folks. Today we're going to talk about practicing like you hunt. The first thing you need to practice exactly how you're going to hunt, if you're going to hunt deer, you need a full-size metal deer target. Metal Spinning Targets is one of our partners and they make one of the best targets that we've ever seen. This is the, the, uh, the silhouettes that we use in our shooting school and they take hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shots. I mean everything up through 375 this AR-500 is going to withstand. It's got a reactive kill zone. There's nothing better than seeing that flop when you hit what you're supposed to. So these are just great targets to practice. All of us, our whole life, we've watched TV shows. We've had our daddies tell us where to shoot deer. And most of the time, they've told us to shoot behind the shoulder. And the deer does a donkey kick and he runs off. And then you decide if you made a great shot and how long you need to wait to go track him but we don't like doing it like that. You wanna come straight up that front leg, eight inches straight to the center of this kill zone, and that is gonna almost always, with these cup and core bullets, that is gonna drop your animal. And the reason being, you got your heart, you got your lungs, you got your aortic artery that runs up and runs down his back like that. You've all seen the jail uh, demonstrations where you have that huge temporary bulge and then it goes into a permanent wound channel well when that bullet hits right here and you got that temporary bulge that gets the heart that gets the lungs and that shuts off the blood to this aortic artery and usually the deer's back legs will suck up and he'll just tump over and you don't have to worry about how long before you need to wait to track him so to me as a custom gun maker and a hunter there's nothing more rewarding than dropping a deer in his tracks 
These targets and a great rifle will help you do that. And that's your True Precision Tip of the Week brought to you by Allen and McWhorter Custom Rifles. Precision Hunting TV is also brought to you by Leo Photo USA, Trigger Tech, Hawkins Precision, Armageddon Gear, Mesquite Creek Taxidermy, Hell's Canyon Barrels, Gun Foam, Boyd Harness Company, and Metal Spinning Targets. This segment is brought to you by Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, Real Texas Barbecue. The last afternoon, we get in there early, we're sitting, and we're seeing a lot of deer. I mean, we can see, we have a lot of visibility from where we put this ground blind. And we've got the wind, I mean, it's just a perfect setup and one of the prettiest spots I've seen. We start seeing quite a few deer all over the place, does and little bucks, and then pretty much right before dark, out of nowhere, this good shooter shows up. I'm trying to film and spot the deer and determine if he's old enough and, and, and big enough. And when we determine he is, Denise is on the Leah photo, she's ready. The deer runs, he runs some really thick stuff. We weren't sure about the shot, it's getting late, so we decided to give him till the next morning to try to find him. All right, Oklahoma rifle season hunt has come to an end. Came to an end on the eight and a half day. Um, shot a really nice deer yesterday evening, fairly early, and um, came down to look for him and we were totally off about 40 yards um, from where we thought he was standing. But either way, we still did not find blood. Um, looked, Alan looked for a little bit, I did not. We're gonna go ahead and preface that. Um, I stayed kind of out in this area, but Alan did go down and look for him and got into some thick cattails and stuff. Um, we decided to back out and get back to the house and review the footage better. Um, so that's what we did. I mean, and I thought I figured he'd be piled up, but the safest thing was to do is just back out. And Denise and Alan had a buddy um, from down the road to call in a dog and brought the dog out there. And like we thought, he just piled up about not very far from here, 50, 60 yards. So. Yeah, the deer was making a scrape right here, about 40 yards from where we thought I had shot him. Um, I want to go take a look at him again. Get him up off the ground. I don't blame you. <laughs> All right. I know you see him too. <laughs> there he is. We are so lucky that the coyotes did not get on this deer last night. Um, when Alan was down in here, Looking for this deer, of course, obviously not right here. Um, I could hear the coyotes all around him, so I knew, I felt for sure. It's got a nice tin on the ground, um, and as I said earlier, we backed out of here last night. We misjudged where the deer was standing when I shot him, and um, so we're not on the right trail. He was piled up down here, not even, I don't even know how far, but if the brush hadn't been in the way, we'd have seen him for sure. But we did get a guy in here with a dog this morning to help us find him. But we re reviewed the footage last night a whole bunch of times and um, my good guide here, Mark, as soon as he saw the footage, he had one thing to say. 
It's a dead deer. And he's dead. He was dead right there. Um, we're very fortunate that the coyotes didn't get on him last night because they were howling around here everywhere, a bunch of them. Um, but they never got to him, thank goodness. Got a really nice Oklahoma rifle season buck on the ground, hunted hard for eight days. If you count this morning up here, that's another half day. Um, but just so proud to have him. Had a great time out here in Oklahoma. And I appreciate everything you've done for us, Mark. Thank you. Thank awesome. You yes, ma'am. McQuarter 7 PRC with 180 grain Hornady bullet put him down. Wish he'd been right there on the ground. We wouldn't have taken so long to get pictures of him, but this is uh, how it turned out this morning, and we've got a beautiful buck to take back to Doe Run, Georgia. Denise had killed a really good shooter buck, a good mature buck. Oklahoma's always been good to us, and it was again this year. Thank you to Dane Drake, Legends of the Cimarron Outfitters. Can't wait till next year.